Hi, I'm Jilly Bean Fitzhenry, and I'm going to share with you my technique for painting on glass. And hopefully, I'll inspire you to give it a try. It really is a lot easier than you think. The biggest thing is having the right brushes. So let's take a look at the glass art brushes that I'm going to be using. Um, these are made special for me by Dynasty. And what's different about them is they have very super soft bristles. So when you're painting on the glass, you're able to cover the uh, glass with your paint uh, with a thicker coat. Other brushes, you wipe it off as fast as you put it on. So my glass art brush set comes with two flats, two different sized liners, two different sized rounds and then also a rake brush, and I use that for fur. And um, another couple of pieces that I like to use, they're from the IPC line by Dynasty, and they're little foam sponge brushes. Um, I use those to um, kind of sponge on or stipple on uh, the frost paint that I'm gonna have around the bottom edge of the glass. And they come in two different sizes, a large and a small, and I just find it easier to use those rather than a regular sponge. But you could use a makeup sponge, one of those foam kind of wedge makeup sponges if you are in a pinch. Okay, so let's get started. One of the most important things is make sure that your glass is totally clean. I just use um, dish soap and take it to my sink and wash it and then dry it off. Rinse it in hot water, dry it off with a soft towel. Then what you want to do is you want to take your design and when you've cut it down, you want to cut it down even further. You want to go right around the design so that you're able to get that into the glass a little bit easier. Then I've put some tape on each end of the design and I'm going to put that into my glass and position it to wherever I want it. Then what I have done on my piece is I have actually put the DecoArt Gloss Enamel uh, white frost. I've sponged that around the bottom of the glass, but I did want to put my design in there first, so let me start with that. I'll get a little sample going here so that you can see. This is the frost, and then I take the foam brush, and I don't wet it first. I pat the extra off on the uh, palette, and then I'm going to start right in and I get close to the design and it's okay if I overlap just slightly into the design itself and I'm going to just gently pat and I'll go all the way down to the base and I'm going to do this all the way around the glass. Then I'm going to start right in with the basing of the colors. I've got uh, sand that I'm going to use for basing in on the um, daffodil. Okay, so I'm going to use a round brush and I don't need to wet it first. I can just go ahead and get my paint on there. I want to have a lot of paint on the brush so I'm really plumping that brush up and then I actually scoop up just a little bit more paint and when I go to base in you're going to find that your design is below the glass so you get this little bit of a 3d effect going and so it the first time around it just feels a little bit funny but you will get used to it pull the brush strokes in the direction of the petals so if you do have brush marks at least they're going to go in the shape that the veins would be on your petals so just lots of paint you see i reload a lot I pull all the way from the tip all the way to the base of the flower. I try not to stop in between and I try not to rebrush it too much. I could also pull from the base of the flower to the tip, so just whatever is easier. And don't be afraid to turn your glass around and upside down to get it to make it easier so that you can pull your brush marks.
I'm trying not to water down my paint. I want to use it as is. Now I use the little liner brush to kind of outline where those petals are that are on each side in the back and then I'm going to pull little lines What I do is I like to put color on the very bottom and what it does is it's going to show through the stem. So let me show you that. Choose whichever color is your favorite and I'm going to squeeze about the size of a dime in the center of the glass and then this is where the big fluffy flat brush comes in. I hold it as loose as I can because I don't want any pressure and I'm going to pull that color out all the way around smoothing it best I can now the good news is if you've got brush marks underneath they are not going to show on top because you can't see any ridges once it goes through the glass when you're looking at that color so that's kind of cool so I light light touch smooth it out best I can try not to play in it too much on it to go all the way to the edges okay and then I'm just gonna rinse my brush off quick here get as much out of there as I can okay and then I'm gonna carefully tip this over so that you can see it and I can't set it down yet because I it's not dry but if you can tell there is some color coming up through the glass so it's like magic okay then let this dry overnight at least if you can do a couple days that really is better put it in a cold oven at 325 for 40 minutes and then leave it in the oven until the oven is cold again shut it off after 40 minutes and on my website you're going to find all kinds of fun designs for painting on glassware there's halloween and christmas and birds and animals so please take a look at jellybean.net have fun painting